When it comes to financial advice, you got to trust the source. It's why you listen to this podcast. When I'm looking to upgrade my wallet, I turn to NerdWallet. Their expert team of nerds dives into the details to help you find smarter financial products. Before NerdWallet, I was paying for vacations all wrong. (laughs) I was missing out on miles. I didn't even know I was leaving on the table. Now I've got a new card with more miles and more upgrades. What could future you do with more travel rewards? I don't know, maybe that fancy hotel upgrade that you have always been dreaming about. Wherever you go next, make it happen with a smarter travel credit card. Don't wait to make smart financial decisions. Compare and find smarter credit cards, savings accounts, and more today at nerdwallet.com. NerdWallet finance smarter. As with all cards, credit is subject to lender approval and terms apply. There is nothing I love more than an amazing meal with high quality meat cooked at home because let's be honest, eating out is so expensive. And you also know that eating out is the number one budget buster. That is why I am so glad I found ButcherBox. ButcherBox is a premium meat subscription service dedicated to delivering high quality, grass-fed and grass-finished beef, organic chicken, pork raised crate free, and wild caught seafood directly to your doorstep with free shipping always. You even get exclusive member deals, recipes, and a variety of high quality cuts at an amazing price. New users will receive their choice of two pounds of ground beef, three pounds of chicken thighs, or one pound of premium steak tips for a year. Use code ETM and get $20 off your first box at ButcherBox.com. Last night, we made a beef stew with meat from ButcherBox, and you can taste the difference. It was so satisfying and delicious, and all of our friends that were over for a dinner party, they raved at how good it was. So do yourself a favor and eat better this year with the best meat and seafood on the planet delivered to your door. ButcherBox is offering my listeners their choice of a weeknight meal essential, three pounds of chicken thighs, two pounds of ground beef, or one pound of premium steak tips for free in every order for a year. Plus, get $20 off your first order. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash etm and use code etm to choose your free offer and get $20 off. Okay, question for you. Where is your money right now? Seriously, we tend to overlook the place that our money is hanging out, aka our bank. But where your money is at is probably more important than how much money you've got in your bank account. Because your banking partner should be just that, a partner helping you grow, flourish, achieve your money goals, all the good stuff. I want to tell you something a little personal. I spent too long at a bank that did not have my back. And I won't drop any names. But it was definitely one of the big old standard banks. And let's just say I woke up. (laughs) And I want you to as well. Tamar Altamian is the VP of Marketing from Westcom Credit Union. She's back on the show to talk about why your relationship with banks matter, what makes credit unions stand out, especially in 2020, and how to figure out if your bank actually has your back. You're listening to Millennial Money with award-winning money expert and serial entrepreneur, Shauna Come to Game, where we flip the script on the old school approach to everything your parents never taught you about money. Each week, Shauna creates a safe space by talking with special guests from around the world about money wellness, entrepreneurship, traveling like a boss, and what makes millennials tick. Unique stories, trailblazing perspectives, tips, tricks, and everything there is to know about money. Find it all here as you uncover your money story and unlock the life you want to live. Pretty cool, right? Here's Shauna, money expert, Indiana Hoosier, and burger aficionado. As I already mentioned, I spent way too long at a bank that was charging me silly fees, and I was just another customer. I could not tell you one name of someone that worked at that bank. And for a long time, I thought, well, that's weird. Why would you actually want to be on a first name basis with someone at your bank? Well, it actually does matter. (laughs) I had to call customer service for a fraud issue, and it was a complete nightmare. I decided that I really needed to invest some time to find a bank that supported me and one that worked for me and didn't just hold my cash aimlessly. So we are in a very different year, and so much has happened since January 1st, 2020, and I want you to make the most out of your money. 
a big part of that is knowing where your money's at and making a real conscious choice to have all your money in the best places. That's your savings, your banking, your investments, whatever it may be. Tamar is obviously on team credit union. (laughs) She's been on the show before a couple of times. She's been with Westcom Credit Union for years and really loves the credit union nonprofit model and how committed credit unions are to teaching you about money and doing right by you, which is a novel concept, but really should be the norm for all banks. So even if you're happy with your bank, you're going to learn a lot in this episode about how to make sure Again, your bank truly has your back. I think one thing, I mean, obviously money is on everyone's mind lately, even if even if you're still in a good situation financially, I think just everything that's going on with the world, like everyone's thinking about money, at least from, from my perspective, in a different way or is now wanting to have those conversations because we just don't know, um, we just don't quite what's going to happen you know when with the shutdown yeah right so um certainly it's a good time to really evaluate your finances your you know relationships and just even reset across the board financially and 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 even in other areas so yeah it's been it's 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 definitely accelerating some some things that you might have considered to put on the back burner um, so if there's anything kind of silver lining during, during this pandemic, it's, 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 it's certainly kind of that opportunity to reset. Yeah, I love that word reset. I've been talking about it with with a lot of podcast li- guests lately, because you're right, like, it, it, it does give you an opportunity. And I know that particularly when it when it comes to money, a lot of people are thinking about like, okay, how do I how do I reset? How do I reevaluate uh, everything that's going on? And I think one of the things that really is is coming to mind for a lot of people is who are they banking with? And they're starting to look at it in a different perspective than maybe they did before. I'm kind of curious, like, what have you, what have you seen on your end as far as like how people are actually evaluating where their money's held? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny because a lot of times you, you know, as a consumer, you wouldn't really take a moment to 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 flip the switch or maybe look at different opportunities and um, ways to grow unless it was like a big life moment, right? Like a new baby right. or maybe you're mar- getting married and merging two finances together. Um, but this is, this is, you know, in light of the whole reset, I would say what, what I, it's truly more about, you know, taking an opportunity to, if you are going to reset and look at your relationships or banking um, relationships, uh, finances, uh, you know, you can, you can get the service you want or the products you want, but I think it's really a time for, as a consumer, to look at the brands or organizations you do business with and see, mm. do they truly have my back as a consumer? Um, yeah. You know, what's, what, what, steps as an organization because you know beyond providing services I think there, there there's more responsibility out there and this this is truly a moment that I think and definitely as Westcom Credit Union um, it's an opportunity for organizations to step up and really make sure do they have the back of a consumer do they are they meeting consumers where they are providing the the finance for the financial needs of, of their consumers their members um, so I, I would say, you know, certainly we're we're developing products and making sure we're um, really meeting our, you know, our members where they are. And, you know, as, as folks are considering these movements, that would be um, something to really ask yourself, uh, you know, does, does this organization or institution um, really act with the consumer's interest in mind? And how do you, like, how would you suggest someone figure that out? Like, particularly if maybe they didn't have a relationship really with their bank before, is there a way to evaluate that and then to maybe say like, okay, I, I think I need another option here. Yeah. I would say, you know, definitely you want to kind of see, you know, do a search online, um, check out what's going on, talk to people in your area. Um, and I, it's funny, I say talk to people in your area because I know a lot of, you asked me earlier, how are you, how is everything or people responding? 
Um, you know, traditionally, Westcom Credit Union has always had a very high kind of organic referral. Um, our members love doing um, business with us, and then they refer as a, as just a, a natural consequence of that. And you know, we get. I mean, sometimes I'm just blown away. Sixty to seventy percent of our newest members are referred to us, and they heard about us wow. because somebody wow. was telling them about their experience. So, you know, certainly a great way um, is, is talk to people you know, um, do your research online, do your research on social media. Every, you know, I, I don't want to say every, but most financial institutions have a presence on social media. Westcom certainly does. We're on IG and Twitter. And, and you can really see what they're doing, you know, and really talking about, you know, new features, new products, um, community involvement. I would start there, definitely. Social would definitely be the place I would go. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably the place most of us would go, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and talking about credit unions, I know we talked about this on previous episodes, but obviously I think in the light of everything that's going on, I want to dive into this a little bit uh, more in depth again, but Talk to me about the differences between, say, a credit union and a regular, maybe traditional bank, won't name any names, but some of those other <laughs> larger names that you see more often, like, what are some of those stark differences? And, you know, how do those differences like play out now that we're in this different world? Yeah, so um, quite a number of differences, um, just by the sheer structure of a credit union. A credit union um, is a nonprofit cooperative, and um, I'll give you a little history on on Westcom. We were founded in 1934 by 13 wow. telephone credit union employees who basically came together to to put their money together so that they can provide hard to obtain loans to other folks in their community. And since 1934, that's just evolved and and you know, founded on that people helping people um, foundation is how that credit union grew. And so, you know, it's instead of, or as a traditional, you know, maybe bank, you know, profits get passed back to shareholders, our shareholders are our members. So whatever profit we make, we pass back to our members in the form of better rates, lower fees, better services. So just structurally, a credit union is, serves truly the members who are their shareholders. So, you know, and then another, you know, we were, like I mentioned, we were founded in 1934. And if we all, you know, go back in our history lesson, 1930s, you know, you're talking Great <laughs> Depression. So, yeah. you know, it was truly like extraordinary times that the credit union was um, founded and that, uh the ethos of people helping people just really, you know, lives on even till today, even to today's extraordinary times. So, um, you know, that's, that's definitely the foundational maybe difference between um, a credit union and a, and a bank, if you will. Yeah, I love that that motto a lot, like people helping people, because Really, I think, I mean, I initially chose a bank out of college just because it was kind of like, oh, okay, I'll pick this bank. You know, there wasn't really much thought into it. And then after a few years being with the bank, then it's like, ah, oh, do I want to move banks? Do I not want to move banks? And and not really understanding what the difference is. But when I started to work in the money field and when I became a certified financial planner, like I would see over and over and over again that people were having these silly fees by their bank and you know, monthly fees and all sorts of just crazy money coming out from the bank that they were banking with. And I would start to say, wait a minute, like, do you realize how much money is just kind of getting like thrown away here in this process? Because you probably haven't chosen the best bank for you. And it really opened my eyes to this. I mean, this is like a big decision that you that you need to make. And it really does matter if you're deciding of, of a credit union or a non-credit union, like that you take some time to to think about this. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think, and again, it comes back down to, you know, not you know, people helping people, but just really that member focus we have. Um, our mission right. is truly to help. It's not to drive profits. It's to help build better lives and not just for our members, but, you know, the communities we serve in Southern California. Um, and, 
you know, I'm, I'm really proud of that. I think, you know, we don't just talk the talk here. We walk the walk. Um, we develop truly with that member focus. Um, I, I'll give you some examples. Like right now, um, given these just everything happening with the pandemic and COVID, you know, how are, you know, a lot of, a lot of institutions are responding and, and, and I'm, I'm really happy to see just overall brands responding. But when I look at my, my own credit union and some of the, the things we've developed within just this short time frame to make sure that our members, are, we're serving our members today where they are and meeting their needs. I mean, I think of all the member assistance programs. So if anyone has been hit by financial hardship, lost a job, maybe someone in their household has been furloughed, whatever that might look like, you know, to call us so that we can work with them on whether it's like loan deferrals, skip a payment, et cetera, just so, you know, we're really focusing on helping them through this time. And it's beyond just loans, um, developing products and conveniences, right? So we know everyone's yeah. kind of locked down at home and really going to the bank, even though we're open, all our branches remained open. We are <laughs> essential <laughs> in a very safe way. We stayed open, but um, you know, it's, it's increasing um, snap deposit limits, the ability to deposit a check from home, increasing those limits. One of the really coolest things I even want to, and I, and I know I can probably just go on and on about this, but you know, the, the team really looked at, you know, how can we service our members right now? And, um, we just enhanced the, our ability to give members. So whenever we see, receive direct deposits, we're now giving the, that direct deposit access two days early to our members. So um, that's been a wow. huge like, enhancement we've made during this time so that we know we, people need access to their funds. And so um, I'm really proud of like just in this short time frame, all the enhancements we've been able to make to just maintain that focus on building better lives. Financial anxiety, anyone? Yeah, you're not alone. But worrying about it, it doesn't help. Earnin does. Earnin is an app that gives you access to your pay as you work up to $100 per day or up to $750 per pay period. You just download the Earnin app and verify your paycheck. Then you can access up to $100 per day as you work and leave an additional tip. Any money you access plus tips are automatically repaid from your next paycheck. So how would you spend the money you get from Earnin? Well, honestly, my hubby and I have been feeling a little bit disconnected lately. That's what happens after you've been together about 12 years. So I would spend the money on a special date night with dinner and maybe bowling, you know, to bring back some of that giggly excitement that we both felt at the beginning. Make Earnin a part of your financial routine and join Earnin's over three and a half million customers who say things like, when I think about Earnin, I think about financial stability, security, gives me a lot of peace of mind. Download Earnin today, spelled E-A-R-N-I-N, in the Google Play or Apple App Store. When you download the Earnin app, type in Talkin, T-A-L-K-A-N, money under podcast when you sign up. It will really help the show. Talkin money under podcast. Subject to your available earnings, location, daily max, and pay period max. See earnin.com slash TOS for details. Earnin is a financial technology company, not a bank. Bank products are issued by Evolve Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Millions of people have lost weight with personalized plans from Noom, like Evan, who can't stand salads and still lost 50 pounds. Salads generally for most people are the easy button, Right. For me, that wasn't an option. I never really was a salad guy. That's just not who I am. But Noom worked for me. Get your personalized plan today at Noom.com. Real Noom user compensated to provide their story. In four weeks, the typical Noom user can expect to lose one to two pounds per week. Individual results may vary. Listen, if you've been using Mint to manage your money, I have got some news for you. First, the bad news. As you might know, Mint is shutting down for good. But the good news... Well, there is a way better alternative that is a personal favorite of mine, Monarch Money. And I'm not the only lover of Monarch Money. Many Mint users are turning to Monarch Money and just raving about it. I used to manage my money with an Excel spreadsheet. I know, so archaic, and it was so time consuming. I tried all of the apps. 
but I just didn't find one I liked until I found Monarch. And I've got to tell you a secret. Monarch is so easy to use with a very intuitive design. You can even collaborate with your partner and you can customize Monarch for whatever your needs are. Monarch is the top rated all-in-one personal finance app. It gives you a comprehensive view of all your accounts, investments, transactions, and more. Create custom budgets, set goals, and collaborate with your partner. And now get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com slash etm. Let's go back to the collaboration bit. Because we know money is a leading cause of divorce and breakups, Monarch has built-in collaboration features so you can invite your partner at no extra cost. You can see all your finances, make a budget together, get insights on your cash. Yes, cue the confetti. There will literally not be any more arguments over money. And if you've been frustrated with personal finance apps that are cluttered with ads, difficult to use, or rarely updated, so was Monarch. They built a new kind of personal finance app that's intuitive and powerful ad-free, and constantly improving based on customer feedback. Monarch has a tool that allows you as well to easily import your data from Mint. You can keep all of your tags and all of your categories. After trying Monarch for myself, I understand why it's the top-rated personal finance app. And right now, get an extended 30-day free trial when you go to monarchmoney.com slash etm. That's M-O-N-A-R-C-H-M-O-N-E-Y dot com slash etm for your extended 30-day free trial. And I think people remember that. I mean, I certainly would uh, if, if if my bank did that for me. I mean, it's those little things that end up making making a big difference, I think, in people's lives. Yeah, yeah. I, I recently read a quote. I can't remember exactly how it went, but it was in, in in times of crisis, what you do for people is what they will remember most. And uh, so it's it's your time to make the biggest impact in 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 their life. Yeah. Wow, I like that. I like that. So I, I'm just kind of curious, like because you have you are an essential business and you have been staying open, are people's questions that that they're coming to you about money, about their money, about the bank, are they have they changed after COVID versus pre COVID? Are people like worried or thinking about different things? I think a lot of it. So um, I think, again, back to that uncertainty, um, it's been questions like, how do I access my funds? Um, you know, if they've been impacted, it's a lot of conversations around what it means to their existing loans and programs. Um, access to funds, even, you know, if you have money in CDs where it's you know, traditionally it's locked down within a certain period of time, one of the enhancements or adjustments we've even made during this time is waiving any early withdrawal fees so that you can be rest assured we won't be charging you early penalty withdrawals um, on your certificate accounts. So, you know, it's been a lot of questions around maybe some uncertainty um, and, and what kind of adjustments or flexibility do they have with their credit union and quite a few. Um, you know, we also, there's questions around the... Um, the overall health of the economy and where that's headed and what that <laughs> means from an investment perspective, too, as you can imagine. Um, yeah. How do you answer that one? Scratch your head, <laughs> scratch your head. <laughs> exactly right. Um, and it's, so Westcom, we're also full service, um, which means it's not just, you know, checking and um, deposit accounts, but also credit cards and investment services. We have a whole branch of dedicated um, Westcom financial service representatives um, who do a great job in just um, sitting down and talking to our members about their investments. Um, and so they've even held, um, you know, market summary reports. So um, our members were able to just um, jump on and hear from experts of what does the state of the market mean and, and how to kind of ride the wave. Um, we know the markets are cyclical. So it's just reassurance and, and, and just talking through um, some of the, the the flexibility they have in, uh, during these uncertain times. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure there, there's a lot of pain points for people. And I think even being being able to have someone that you can you can listen to, that you trust, to give you some guidance. Again, no one knows where I don't think any of this is going, which is um, and in some degrees, while we're while we're all in the same boat together, but but having you know someone that you can go to, I think is really key. I know one of the things that we talked about before, which I really love about Westcom, what I love about credit unions in general, is is financial 
counseling and, and education and there's a real like slant for that. I'm just curious, has, has any of that changed since COVID or are more people really interested in like, I need to learn more about my money now, maybe more so than I even did before. So, I mean, I would say absolutely one of the things um, we offer is an online module. We were already set up for digital modules. So at your own convenience, you can watch and learn. Um, So there's, you know, our members or anyone, quite frankly, who visit westcom.org can go over to the um, Financial Education Center and just watch the modules on maybe, um, you know, what what does it mean to lease a car versus buy a car, et cetera. So those are still available. You know, certainly we had to make, so we also had quite a few in-person seminars we would host across our branches in Southern California. So, of course, we have to adjust that. We don't want to have any (laughs) gatherings right now. Um, So, you know, the teams worked on rethinking the way we deliver those in-person seminars. Um, So, you know, our Westcom Financial Group, for example, hosted a market summary for their um, um, members. So that was a, a nice adjustment we made. So, financial education is still a great focus for us and we continue to do that. Yeah. I'm just curious, like you mentioned, obviously the technology shift and how things are being delivered and obviously how you're changing and updating some of the practices by giving people um, their direct deposit two days earlier. Like, I'm just curious from, from your perspective, how do you see technology uh, maybe even like fast forwarding the 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 banking system, the financial system? Like, do you think after maybe after 2020, like, are we still going to have our like the foot on the gas pedal of using technology to change the way we bank? I think so. I think, you know, uh, we have a lot of members that have just adapted technology already. Um, we see that in yeah. the way they bank with us. Um, um, and then we've seen this big acceleration, even more so of maybe the older generation of members who perhaps they have some hesitation. And this is kind of really um, given them a hard reason <laughs> uh, to maybe download the mobile app, <laughs> to maybe, you know, try depositing from home. So we've seen huge spikes in just general. And I think the the experience and once that comfort level has been established and knowing that it's secure, we certainly are secure and, and offer all, um, you know, alerts and, and security uh, features on all our mobile banking products. I think that level of comfort um, will continue. Now, that doesn't mean branches will go away. I think there's certainly at some point and, and lots, of, um, lots of benefit to the face-to-face, more in-depth, um, interaction that we see take place yeah, at our branch. Yeah. And so I think that'll still continue, but um, the digital adoption and just um, developing that's here to stay. And if anything, this time has just accelerated that. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I mean, I think it's like, it's sort of like, wow, um, look what people can do when we actually, we actually have to, but um, when we actually put our head down and, and, start to change things like it starts to become exciting like i said in the in the beginning i mean i never thought twice about my my banking relationship until even just a few years ago but when you have someone who's holding your money who actually is like being concerned about what's going on in the world and making those changes like to me that just that really says a lot because there are a lot of businesses who are not doing that right now <laughs> yeah 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 but you know with that, and what I'll probably add is that human touch, that personalized service, you know, whether it's through your digital, if you were like chatting with us online, there's a Westcom mem- uh, member service representative who's really on that, on the other end, helping you through. Um, you call us, you know, our, you know, our phone center might look different today. They're all working from home, but they're still taking the call. So that, that, personal touch, whether no matter what channel you access Westcom from, is still there. And we place a, 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 a lot of importance in that. Um, in that we sure. truly think, yeah, that that's also, you know, um, one of the advantages of banking with Westcom. And I know you mentioned it uh, a little earlier that 
you, Westcom, I know lots of other credit unions do this as well, but that you are more full service, meaning you could get credit cards and a mortgage and car loans and those sorts of things that you don't traditionally think with a, with a bank. Like, What would be the advantage to getting some of these services through, through a credit union like Westcom versus you going independently to all these different places for, for loans and credit cards and things like that? Yeah, great question. Well, certainly, um, I think it goes back to the fact that just the nature of the credit union is that we pass back our earnings in the form of better rates and services. So just off the bat, if it's a credit card, an auto loan, you know that we are going to offer very competitive rates, um, very member-focused features. For example, our credit card um, offers a rewards program where you can redeem for cash back. Um, so, I mean, very competitive, very p- progressive, and and I think just overall priced in a way that uh, makes sure that we're delivering um, certain advantages and cost savings to people. Um, and then, you know, beyond that, I think, you know, we also have a uh, program called Signature Membership. So as you use products and services with Westcom, um, that basically deepens your relationship. And the, the more relationships you have with us, the more rewards we pass back to you. So, for example, let's say um, you were with Westcom and you use our services and you are a Signature member. Well, you get a, a whole list of benefits, um, such as fee waivers on any NSS, um, yeah, maybe notary, uh, free notary, free um, uh, uh, ATM usage. So when you go and use um, surcharges for ATM, so you don't, you know, we'll waive the Westcom out of network fee for you. So, you know, the more services you use here at Westcom, truly the more benefits you're, you are um, getting from us. I like that. I like free benefits. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm also super curious because you, you have been one of the, the essential businesses and, and you've been working probably in a different capacity. Maybe you're, maybe you're working from home. I'm not sure. But um, I'm kind of curious, like, what um, being with a bank, like, are there any um, silver linings for you, like, personally that have come out of, of this time? Have you had, are, have you been thinking about your money differently? Like, is there any sort of aha moments that have, that have happened for you? Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot. Um, so, I mean, Certainly, I'm I'm working. I'm literally sitting at my dining room table right now talking to you. So I <laughs> you and me both, right? Home. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we did. We shifted a lot of our um, back office um, team to to be able to work remotely. Um, our frontline staff, and when I say that, it's the the folks that um, within the branch. They're there, um, of course, practicing in a very um, social, you know, practicing social distancing, lots of safety measures. It, it's funny when the whole COVID thing happened and, you know, as an essential business, we remained open. We heard a lot from our members just over like all this concern for our employees. Are you guys keeping them safe? And I love that they were asking yeah. and reaching out and making sure we were because absolutely the safety was um, our priority at the time. But maybe from a personal perspective, you know, lots of savings right now. There's not much that, um, <laughs> you know, whereas I was really spending, I'm like maybe rethinking and um, just shuffling my savings personally. Um, uh, but but even, even so, I would say just overall, and again, I'll take it back to the fact that I'm the vice president of marketing, just seeing, just seeing uh, from this side of the fence, the the teamwork and the spirit of the team to still maintain that member focus has been so energizing. There, there's truly this energy within the credit union to, um, for all of us to step up and make a difference and a positive impact in our communities. Um, you know, we, I, I may have talked about this on previous podcasts, but um, we're very committed to our Southern California communities and knowing that our healthcare workers were out there and just, 
you know, all the wonderful, like heroic work they were doing. Um, we deployed what we have, we have a program called West Come Kindness, where we surprise and delight. And we really wanted to use that as an opportunity to really thank the healthcare workers within our community. So we were able to give $10,000 worth of um, Togo sandwiches to Kaiser nice. from Permanente in Anaheim. Yeah. Um, which was right across the street from our Westcom Operations Center in Anaheim. And just surprise and delight and lots of great feedback we received. And then one of the cool things about that was not only were we able to just thank our healthcare heroes, but also inject some funds in a local business that was really, you know, maybe, you know, being impacted by the shutdown order. So we were able to help the local business in Togo's. Um, with our purchase of ten thousand dollars worth of sandwiches, and then it happened to be a member too. So nice. uh, just all around, I mean, truly, when I say building better lives, like it was building better lives, and we did that in at um, Huntington Hospital here in Pasadena. Um, we gave ten thousand dollars worth of Grubhub gift cards there, um, and also UCLA uh, Medical Ronald Reagan Medical Center. So. Um, you know, just stuff like that has been very invigorating to see um, the energy and the true, like truly living that purpose of building better lives in Southern California. And I can hear it in your voice. Like, that's the cool part, I think, is that I can hear that energy in your voice and I can hear that you really care about people. And I, I really hope that comes across because... Uh, again, I just keep coming back to like how much it matters and I, and it always mattered, but I think it matters more now than, than ever before. And that's just, that's a really great like human element to not just say that you care, but to actually really care. Like th there's a, there's a difference. And I think that's so refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to share one more thing that I'm just so proud of, um, you know, as there's all this, the protest and civil unrest within our communities, rightfully so. Um, you know, Westcom really took that as an opportunity. What can we do to really show our solidarity and support for the movement and just um, overall um, injustice, um, social injustice out there? And so um, our CEO was basically gave every single employee at Westcom a paid day off to go and make a difference in the communities. And I think that's huge. The fact that even our staff um, can go and spend a day, um, whether it's a peaceful protest, uh, participating in community cleanup, whatever it is, a day to build better lives in their communities. And just another example, I think that was yeah. just so proud to be part of an organization like that. So in general, yeah, I just want to make sure your money is in a good place. It comes from my heart <laughs> to your heart. There's so much going on in the world. I can't even focus half the time. I am struggling with anxiety. It's hard for me to watch the news. I feel so stressed out about people losing jobs, about industries that are going away, about what this means for our future. Just thinking about everything that's going on from a monetary perspective, it just it literally gives me an anxiety attack and I have to calm myself down and I have to focus on what I can control. And one of those things is just where is my money and how is it working for me? And is it working against me? If it's working against me, then I need to take some action steps to make those changes. Even during quarantine, I've changed up where my money's at a couple of places because I just didn't like how certain organizations or institutions or companies or whatever it may be were treating me as a customer in a time where it really mattered how you were treating me as a customer. So the last thing I want you to worry about is, oh my God, is my bank charging me a fee? Or why can't I talk to somebody at my bank when I need to? Or is my bank meeting my ethical and social needs? I just... I don't want you to have those worries. So spend a little bit of time just thinking about where your money's at and is it at a place that you feel really comfortable with because it does really matter. So you can find out more about Westcom at westcom.org or you can find them on Instagram and Twitter at underscore Westcom. As always, we are changing the language around money on this show to help you unlock the life you want to live. So now that you are part of this, it's up to 
all of us to invite other people in. So share this episode with someone that you think needs to rethink (laughs) where their money is at and why they need to understand how important this is. Invite them in so we can all talk about money in a new, fun, and fresh way. Hey, you. Yes, you. Before you go, we want to say thanks for listening to this episode of Millennial Money. For all the links, tags, and ads you've heard on today's episode, check out the show notes or go to mmoneypodcast.com, where you'll find more episodes to share with your friends. While you're at it, leave us a review and make sure to subscribe wherever you listen so you don't miss out on all the money tips and tricks that will take you from a millennial regular to a millennial money expert. See you back here in a few days with a fresh new episode. We've all spent more time with family lately. It can feel like old times, but your mind is on the future too and what you can do to shape it. At Sandy Spring Bank, we work with clients to help them grow and protect their money with wealth management, trust services, and insurance so they can enjoy today and ultimately pass along their wealth. We believe real banking is a conversation. Let's talk about your dreams. Visit sandyspringbank.com slash wealth. Wealth and insurance products are not FDIC insured, not guaranteed, and may lose value. Without the ones like you who work tirelessly to keep things running, everything would suddenly stop. Hospitals, factories, schools, and power plants, they all depend on you. No matter the weather, emergency, or time of day, you're the ones who get it done. At Granger, we're here for you with professional-grade industrial supplies. Count on real-time product availability and fast delivery. Call, click Granger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done.